Hi, I'll freeze cracked here. Hey, I haven't <laughs> uploaded any video in a while. I thought maybe I'd try and do a little refresher thing, if you will, about what to try and do with big percussion. First thing I'm going to try to do is just knock this thing off. Dang, that didn't work. Okay, I need somebody else to do this refresher. Because I apparently don't know what I'm doing. Okay, we'll leave it on there. We'll make that part of the final point. Um, if you do not have... there, Sometimes you just... Uh, a bopper is not big enough for some task like this. But actually, I do need the bopper to turn this. Okay, so far this is starting out really sucky. All right, got to get that off. You have to watch that because it can flip backward and cut your thumb off. Which, fortunately, I didn't do that. What I'm trying to do is get... Man, it's hard to braid right on big stuff. What I'm trying to do is get a steep platform, like a hammerstone platform. So I can hit above the edge like that. Got a crack in it. But. So, you know, too often I've shown y'all, um, you know, reducing rocks down to the skinny, crummy middle. Well, sometimes a skinny, crummy metal isn't an efficient use of rock. That's actually a lot better rock than I thought. Apparently. Maybe. I'm just trying to get these edges off so they don't cut me, actually. I'm looking for some natural platforms. <coughs> What you'd normally like to do is attempt to get more than one point out of a rock. The reason I'm going straight down on this is I'm trying to make a very steep platform right there. So I can try and cut off some of this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this because I'm going to use this hump on my leg and hit up above it, downward, and see if I can get it to kind of wrap through a little. Which I did, but I didn't make anything useful in the process. You say to yourself, well, what, what am I watching this guy for? He's hitting with a hammerstone and I'm a copper person. Well, I'm a copper person too. But, you see how that wrapped that? I'm a copper person too, but sometimes you ain't got boppers big enough. Alright, well this isn't working well. I can't handle this very well. It definitely takes some effort to get used to wielding big, unwieldy rocks. I think I may try one more little hit with a smaller rock, like this.
And now I think, just because I've got everything all messed up here, I'm just going to try and get some of this off. And I'm going to switch to copper. And it isn't because copper has what I need so much as it is because I'm good with it because I've done it a lot more. Hammer stones are highly variable and after you use them a while, you get to where you understand them. But and actually they can work much better than copper sometimes. A little just trying to get some weight off the ends. Trying not to hit into the middle where a point would be. I'm just trying to get weight off the ends right now. I don't know if you're seeing the size of these flakes, but if you want to make big flakes, you have to hit hard. Concavity here. But to get this magic, sometimes you can do on leather where you can hit downward and if you've got that pressure on the leather it makes the flakes stay deep just keeps running deep okay so there's a concavity right there but I'd like it to go into that but instead I'm going over here take that back I'm just gonna I'm gonna do the same thing I did before ah didn't work didn't get low enough it tried okay came at that angle and undercut it some Still thinking about getting weight off the ends. Really braiding heavily. Super heavy, because I want to try and come right through there. And I'm going to use it on the leather, and I'm going to use the heaviest bopper I got, use it on the leather, and hit hard. And if you can see, it came all the way through and undercut all that mess. I still got lots of mess to deal with. Just gonna come right in through here. Feather that, smoothing. Wrapped it around, smoothing, and coming back over here because I still got a bunch of thickness in here. And I still have the wrong angles on this. I need to just go ahead and come on in and lose a little bit. I'm trying to figure out. When you have a long piece like this that's fairly thick and fairly narrow, by comparison to the length, you try and make every flake 
do you some kind of good. I still think this is a lot like shooting pool. I don't know if that's a valid analogy or not, but it just seems like it to me. This is one of those things where you can go up to go down. I'm, I'm turning this the opposite direction from the way I want it turned. But there's going cavities in there. Don't under a braid. There's many people under a braid. Okay, well I got a bunch of humpiness over here and I could do another couple of hits. I will. Okay, I've got this ridge along here. Just feathered into there. It didn't feather screwed in there but cut that off held it down on there hit straight down more or less because of the steepness of this edge see how that's smoothing I mean it's kind of not great but it ain't Horrible. Trying to get a little more weight off these ends. Get a little more weight off the ends. So we're going to hit some thickness out of here. Whole area. Now we've got big thickness right there. And I'm not doing right at all. I'm hitting things that shouldn't be hit. Like see how this is turned upward? Well I'm going to hit to the side of it. Same thing on here, it's not a platform. Oh, everything's coming into here, so it's not going great, but the, the key thing is it's fairly smooth and it did reduce thickness a little. I'm gonna try and shoot one across there and then one right over there. And I hinged it. That one went. See, that one went all the way down. I don't think I had the edge ground well enough on that first one. That was a very tricky little shot there to not end snap it, not hit it wrong. Okay. We're getting here. Trying to make sure I don't hit above this square edge. I'm just trying to hit the square edge a little bit. That time I hit above it on purpose. So I'm turning it way down. Okay. I 
That's really too low now, but oh well. I try and overcorrect a little bit when I really want to shoot for incredibly important thinning. I try and go a little far sometimes. Okay, we've got some stuff going on here. Are you getting bored yet? Concavity there is not good, but I can hit one across here and I'm going to step down a size and try and go straight across right there. And you say, oh, well, you, you overshot, yeah. Doesn't matter. A little more support on the leather than I needed, which uh, made it wrap a little more than I wanted. No big deal. Okay. Because uh, that hinge right there, I could hit into here, but that hinge is already going downward more than I want it to. So I need to get this cortex off right at this edge. Because what I want to do, and you see that's a concavity, but I want to hit hard right into there and take off some thickness so when I come back the other way, it'll be safer. Okay, so it lowered all that, so now when I come back in, it should, it should be okay. Uh, judgment call. I'm trying to decide whether to hit here first or there first. I, th I guess I'll go ahead and hit there and worry about that later. See how that went under that and pushed it a little more? That's what I wasn't sure about if I want to do or not. But it doesn't look like it really hurt anything. Okay, now this wraps up. And that's really kind of high. So I'm going to need to press on that a little bit on the leather. And hope for the best. What do you think it did? Oh, look. Did good. <laughs> Cleaned all that up with one shot. Kept it low and took more off than it otherwise would have. I think I'll try one more shot through there. Just lowering. Now this is still thicker than I would like. still thicker and we're going to keep we're going to try and keep weight off the end so what I'm going to try and do is this little ridge or thickness right there I've got an, a natural platform here that's cortex which isn't good because of the cortex I'm stepping down one and got to hit it right the angle and didn't get enough into it so it hinged and that one hinges the same place. I did that on purpose because I figured I'd just cut it off from over here. Let's see, just coming up overcompensating a little bit, getting it up right here. And that's my platform that I need to undercut that. So just put it there and yeah, I kind of missed it. And got most of it, tiny bit left. That's gone. Okay, so this is getting somewhere. I still don't like this end though. Huh. And you say, well, I can come back to it later. I want to come back to it later. But I want to get the middle light and then have the end be heavy. See, so I'm looking at the balance on it too. All right. So. This is twisted. Uh. 
That's annoying, huh? I was just gonna do all this in one one video. Now use your hand like leather sometimes and hold it enough to where it wraps. Just hold it with your fingers and make it wrap. Like that. So I'm getting all this stuff off. And you say, well, but this, yeah, I don't care. I just, you know, it's ugly. Yes, I know. I know that sounded bad, but... I told you this before, you can hit on the ends all you want, if you do it right, and you won't break it, if you do it right. All about the angle and the support. I took out a hinge there. I've been there the whole time. It bothers you? Don't bother me. All in good time, my little pretty. Don't hit on Cortex if you can help it grind that stuff. through it. I keep running stuff up to that hinge. That's funny. See? It's broke now. Okay. Oh, for those of y'all that are asking, been asking yourself since I turned this video on, you know, well, what's he doing? What's he making? Have you ever heard of a sweet water drill? That's what it is. Sweet water drill. I mean, I just told you I was going to teach you how to, uh, or show you a little more about hitting. I didn't say I was going to make anything. Oh my gosh, I'm raising this so high and I'm losing width. Huh. You have to lose width. The question is, do you want to lose enough to be effective? Or do you want to fight the death of a thousand cuts and just... This is going to be very unique. wonder if that will work at all or if this is about to be a catastrophe. Still getting weight off the ends. Okay, see here's the theory. <clears throat> gonna hit real hard just blow over there and you're like what well actually I'm gonna hit here first hard and take a flake but it's gonna be an isolating flake too watch see how it went that way 
it fanned this way and just kind of went in there that isolated. So now I'm going to do the same thing here except I'm going to go that way. So it fanned out and came to there and it isolated but it did a little thinning at the same time. So now I got this big old crazy hump and you're like what? I'm going to do one more little isolating thing. So now the question is, when I hit this, will I blow the whole thing in half or will it do a good flake and run over there and do big, good stuff? The answer is, we'll see. Okay, so it went over there and did good stuff. All right. So now this is a little bit of a concavity. I need to raise these things back up in between them a lot and then go beside them and go over them. Got to get it up high enough. If you don't, it's going to fail. Cortex. That one looks a little bit low, but I'll just hit above that lowness. Right? Right? Apparently right. Okay, and now this one looks dangerous. Okay, so what do you think? I think that's probably enough for one lesson. Don't know how long I did, but did pretty long. Anyway, bye for now, freeze crack.